Hey everybody and welcome back to NFT Kings. My name is Matt and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys start to finish how to actually mint an NFT on Solana. Now, this can be applied to Ethereum as well and any other, you know, chain out there. You could apply this with BNB if you want or any other chain out there. But what I'm trying to show you guys is essentially the process of how you actually mint an NFT and what you guys should be aware of. So if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more daily NFT videos. Let's get right into it. So. The first thing I want you guys to know is essentially what the process of minting actually is. And the process of minting an NFT is essentially going to the website of whatever the NFT is and receiving it based on a random draw, typically we done random draw. I mean, there may be exceptions, but 99% of the time it is a random draw where out of the 10,000 supply or 8,000 supply or 5,000 supply, whatever the supply is, they are giving you one of the either algorithm, algorithmically generated uh, NFTs out there or the hand-drawn ones however they created them, you are receiving one of them based on luck and simply based off of the fact that your wallet is connected to their website. So you are paying the developers uh, essentially a set price, whatever their set price is, you are paying them that and they're rewarding you with the NFT. This is the most basic kind of NFT transaction out there. Simple, similar to, let's say, you know, you're buying an artwork or a, a painting or something like that. You hand the creator of the painting the money and they give you the painting. But before we get to how to actually do this, how do you guys actually find NFTs? Well, I always go with two strategies that have never let me down. The first strategy is, of course, using rarity.tools. And, you know, this website's been around a while, you know, long before Solana even was a thing. And what I love about Rarity Tools is it tells you all these new upcoming projects, gives you direct links to their Discord, their Twitter, their website, so you guys can feel them out for yourselves. They'll also give you a mint price. So if you guys don't know what this is, they're telling you the exact cost that it would be in Ethereum or Solana or whatever the project is. Now, a lot of times these pre-sales, if you sign up on their Discord or through a whitelist or something, you can actually get them in advance and for cheaper. So uh, I definitely do believe that that is probably the best strategy for you guys is to do some kind of pre-sale like that but again they'll tell you the total supply so ideally you do want to look for something that has a lower supply you know not always but you know 10k is kind of a lot these days and you know i definitely if i were you guys would try to have faith in the project you know really more than anything because you know these these nfts are getting a little saturated so you could browse here and look and obviously uh this is you know definitely your first option but my second Second option, honestly, follow people on Twitter, man. Uh, all these NFT guys are people who do this for a living, that literally buy and sell NFTs for a living. And if you're minting an NFT, you of course want other people to because you want the project to do well and to, to go up and to sell out. The faster an NFT sells out, obviously, it seems that it was more desirable. Now, there are times where people will create bots, which will bombard the websites and then, you know, create a whole array of issues. But for the most part, if an NFT sells out really quickly, it means it was in high demand. So people that are, you know, really wealthy and, and do this every day, they're going to talk about NFTs they like and that they want to mint because they're going to want you to buy them as well. So definitely follow some people on Twitter. Hell, you can follow me if you guys want at the Matt Retro, uh, M-A-T-T-R-E-T-R-O at the Matt Matt Retro. That's me on Twitter. You follow me, but uh, definitely follow some people a lot more uh, well-versed than me in this. And I'm telling you guys, I mean, I mean, there's always someone who is tweeting about a new mint and there are even, you know, Solana mint notification bots that will talk about that. So anything like that on Twitter is a great idea. The next thing you want to do not related to NFTs is to make a Weeble, folks. If you guys want to check it out, link down below in the top of the description. No, this does not have anything to do with NFTs, but uh, if you guys are interested in trading crypto or stocks, if you guys use my link at the top of the description, we'll both make a few bucks it's probably the easiest 15 20 ish bucks you guys will ever make in free stocks so if you click my link down below in the description me and you will get some free stocks and you know some people have gotten lucky with shares of apple and facebook so a lot of cool stuff you know you guys could do down below in the description okay so the next thing you guys would want to do is check out the website the social medias of whatever project you're looking to mint i'll pick a project i like this is doge capital they are currently uh, on solanar they have already been minted but you guys see based on the information here the price was one solana uh the pre-sale was on the 18th and the public mint was on the 20th so what you would have done here is you would have come to this website and you would have hit connect wallet you would have connected your phantom wallet or any other wallet you have to this website and you know if you're using ethereum you would do this with metamask but 
the issue here is that a lot of these, not Doge Capital, it doesn't look like it. I, I never can be sure 100%, but you know, Doge Capital looks pretty legitimate. Um, you know, they have the links to the social medias here of the creators, but when it comes to something like this, you can never be certain. Again, there are a lot of factors you could take into account that might help, like, you know, seeing a face to the name and an active community, you know, moderators and administrators and developers who are responsive and, again, show their names, their faces, all that helps. But you never really can be sure. So how do you protect yourself in the case of a rug where this website will, you know, if by some weird circumstance, whatever NFT you're minting could raid your wallet. And again, not Doge Capital, it's just an example. Um, but any site like this, when you hit connect wallet, you are giving them permission to access your wallet. Um, when we check Solonart, you know, you guys could see when you go to buy something on here, you're gonna hit connect wallet. And same thing on OpenSea. What this is doing is you are essentially giving Solonart permission to have access to your wallet and to make those transactions on your behalf. Now, I trust Solonart, you know, personally. <laughs> again, they could be a rug tomorrow. I just don't think so. And again, that's what I would do if I were you guys. Try to be safe. Try to learn, you know, what is considered to be uh, safe in general. But when it comes to Solonart, what I love is that, again, you link your wallet here, but they've had a really good reputation. And once you sell something or buy something, you just hit disconnect. When it comes to minting, again, the reason why it's riskier than going and buying something on Solonart is because Solonart's been around forever. SolC, you know, has been around for a while. Um, they, they actually they're pretty new, but but they're they're reputable. Uh, Digitalize, you know, any of these exchanges, they seem pretty good. Uh, I haven't seen an exchange that, in my opinion, is completely predatory for Solana. Same thing with Ethereum. OpenSea, I would say, is pretty legit. But what is not legit is, again, a lot of times you will look through an NFT and what will happen is you'll go to their website and it will be sketchy and they'll want to raid your wallet. So how do you protect yourself? Well, what you guys can do is you can go and create a burner phantom wallet. So, again, if you guys use phantom, you know, you just hit create new wallet. And, of course, you guys can have them all stored on the side. So you'll get your secret recovery phrase. And, you know, of course, you're going to want to write that down, save this. And, you know, I think I have like five wallets because I've used them all for different things and whatnot. Definitely keeping your money spread out is a better idea in that sense. But, you know, even if you wanted to have two wallets, one where you store your NFTs and two where you mint new things, ideally, you would only want to send a small amount to that wallet. So let's say we're looking to mint the baby blobs. I'm, I'm just giving an example. I, I don't plan on minting these, but um, let's say you want to mint the baby blobs here. What you would do is you would make a new phantom wallet. You'd have it there. You'd have it on your browser extension and you would send, you know, 2.01 so it to the wallet just to cover the fees, you know, maybe 2.05 if you want to be extra safe. But, you know, Solana notoriously has low fees. You would send that to the wallet, and then what you would do is you'd go to the website, Baby Blobs. You'd go here. You would wait for their mint. Whenever the button shows up, of course, they are not uh, ready to mint yet. But, you know, once the mint day is there, you'll hit Connect Wallet, and you'll want to connect your burner wallet, not your main wallet. So connect the burner, not the main. And once you do that, you'll mint the NFT. It should hopefully land in your wallet, and then you could send it to your main wallet where you have everything stored. So, again, definitely do be safe. You know, please be careful, guys, because this stuff is risky. You know, there's everything has risk, but especially with NFTs, when you're really putting trust in the website you are entering. And again, there are some that are more trustworthy than others. Solonart, I would say, is a lot more trustworthy than any random project I could pick on here. And even most of these projects, I would say, you know, are pretty safe. But the, the, the problem is you couldn't get blindsided. It's happened, and I just want you guys to be safe. So that being said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe for more NFT videos coming out every single day. Again, check out Weeble. Top of the description. My name is Matt. See you guys on the next one. Peace.